Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche, the genetic survival game. And we are back with our pack here on the island of Hoshina, trying desperately to be able to vary up our genetics a little bit so that we don't have we don't have brothers and sisters and very very close cousins having babies anymore, but also still trying to cling to life. We are getting pretty close to potentially losing out, oh my goodness, on our entire pack because of how few members we're starting to work our way down to. So we're going to try to gather up a lot more food and we are going to try to make sure that there are some brand new babies coming up especially if I can get as many babies as possible from my new absolute favorite pack member which is this guy right here I mean look how cool he is he is definitely my new favorite Nerokir I really hope we can get as much from him as possible before he passes away as many of his genetics passed on and whatever mixes he wants to pass them on he has seven strength three speed he's got pretty good eyesight he's got okay here Hearing. If you have better hearing, you might hear the rustling in the grass further away. We just unfortunately lost some of our older pack mates, so that's really sad. And it leaves the bunny burrows and the berry bushes over here unexplored. So hopefully we'll be able to move somebody over there to help to gather up a lot of food. But we are also trying to explore the island. That's kind of one of our big goals, uh, trying to figure out what's hiding off in the rustling bushes, maybe bumping into some new potential pack members, and hopefully unlocking some of of the mutation traits. So we have our mutation menu up and you guys have actually told me there's a interesting mutation called digger and I don't know because I've only seen maybe one or two people talk about it but apparently there's a trait called digger and if you dig you can find food and that really dramatically helps you to find food. So I didn't know that's actually a thing and I looked through all of our trait list. We have medium ears, big ears, normal eyes, blind eyes which is what our very first panda pattern had. We have antlers big nose which adds a little bit to the smelling and the range sensing ram spit snout which we actually have not had uh, in the family for a while now we removed the spit snout jeans and we've been focusing on the really cool ram horns and some really beautiful stripes normal body big body lean body if we wanted to add a wee bit of speed and have better heat resistance in the desert areas then we also have toxic body, which is something a lot of you guys want to see us have. So we haven't mutated toxic body yet. We may try that and we may make a swamp expert who can go into the swamps because we have a lot of requests for toxic body. We also are trying right now to get berry paw constantly bred into our pack mates because it really helps to have berry paw to feed everyone. And we did have runner's leg to add a little bit of speed and some more collecting in the mutation menu. I had those down here, but I decided I really want to see if I can and find that digger thing. So we have no paw, claw, red fur, dots, no pattern, stripes, black eyes, black mane, brown mane, beige mane, red mane, fluffy tail, and hind legs. Fluffy tail would be really fun. Do we have any fluffy tails actually? I don't think we have any fluffy tails. I can't see your rumps. Hold still. Oh, there we go. I see the tails. I don't think those are fluffy tails. I didn't really know you guys even had tails, so I'm pretty pleased about that. So we'll have to see if we can evolve or mutate in, I should say, fluffy tails at some point in the future. But for now, we're going to go ahead and try to start unlocking some of these conditions. So we don't have yellow fur. We don't have gray fur. Mutate brown eyes, mutate black eyes. I think we're going to go ahead and leave berry paw for the sake of being able to feed everybody. But we're going to try to mutate red fur. And so drag and drop your genes here to mutate your offspring. A new gene may be unlocked. So now our next job is to try to have as many babies as possible while still managing to feed them so we can see if we unlock that mysterious gene. And if the rumor of something to do with digger trait is true. I haven't been watching other Let's Plays and not looking up different facts about the game yet. For one thing, it's an early access, so it's very, very early. The game is no doubt going to look tremendously different when they officially release it in January. So I'm not really in a rush to learn how to make it perfect when everything is probably going to be rewritten several times. For another thing, I love doing blind Let's Plays, which is why we kind of take our time and we go into everything and we try to look at their heads. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. And we try to study everything and be surprised by everything. But seeing Digger, that got me really excited. So 
So I don't know if that's actually a trait in the game or not, but I think it's a good idea to try to go through the entire mutation menu and unlock as many things as possible to see if that is something that we can find. So that being said, let's go ahead and have Van Duke New here, who is pretty awesome. He's got some really fantastic traits. I wish I could pass them on, but unfortunately he is way closely related. We've been breeding him anyway, but he is way closely related to both of his like sisters slash cousins. I'm not even sure exactly what you would say they are but I guess unfortunately I do need to breed those two but we're also going to be breeding this guy because like I said if I could savor like I wish there was a way to sort of mark like have a a photo gallery or have some sort of like family tree legacy where you could be like this was one of my favorites I, I give him a little favorite mark and then I can go back and look at him and have memories of him but for now there's nothing like that so we'll just have to remember him together because I think he's so awesome but we're gonna go ahead and have him breed with her and then we're gonna send him off and see if I can get close enough to that bunny to bring some food home and then we are going to be sending her in fact, uh, should I? Okay, we're going to be sending her this way. So used up all of that food so that hopefully she will be able to get back to the nest soon. This guy, Nuta, if only I had the ability. He's got a bunny sitting right in front of him. So that was the thing rustling in the grass. We'll have to wait and see if that bunny is going to very kindly stay there, Swamp Bunny. Stay there. Oh my gosh, he actually stayed there. Well, uh, sorry for you, Swamp Bunny. <laughs> oh gosh, I should have remembered to feed him before before getting the Swamp Bunny. But there we go. So got those. Everybody moved over there. This is Van Van Kier. Have a little bit of gathering. Have quite a bit of strength. This is a pretty strong little guy. I think we might send him down towards the bunny bushes down here so that he can. Oh, <gasps> bunny! Yes, food. Fantastic. I think we'll send this little baby down. Yeah, we'll send him down so he can be in charge of the new bunny bushes. Siriko here. Oh, wow. Four. Four gathering. She's going to take his place because she can gather up a lot more food. And then maybe Van Duke New here could do a little bit of exploring. But I'm going to go ahead. Well, then if we're going to swap them, I'll move them like this. She's going to become pregnant, and then you, my dear, also have strength. So she is a fantastic berry picker. So Siriko is going to be our new berry picker. What the heck's going on over here? Hello? Okay, nobody over there. I'm going to move you over here. So she's going to have a baby. And then Miko. Yeah, Miko was another one of the really awesome ones that we're super excited about because she has the Venomous ability. So she can move really far too. She has fantastic speed, has really great hind legs, and she's got a little bit of collecting, a little bit of strength, but the Venomous thing is really cool. We might be able to like dart at one of the carnivores, bite them, and then dart away. Or are they predators or carnivores? I can never remember. And yeah, she doesn't have the greatest gathering in the world, but every little bit helps right now. So we'll make her gather up some. And then are you gonna do a little exploring, sir? I'm gonna send him into the far, far reaches over there. All right, so there we go. Everybody's lined up. Okay, there's some stuff going down over here. Oh no! Oh, I knew he was getting old. I really need more explorers in the distance. <gasps> Look at the double dose of babies! Look at those babies, this is fantastic. They look awesome, and it's raining. Wonderful. We should hopefully be able to add quite a bit to the family tree that way. Okay, let's go ahead and use that. And then here she goes. So, Sirico, you're going to be our... Wow! Sirico, I can really get right up close with you, and you can give us a beautiful glimpse. She's actually quite lovely, so it's fun to have her. And she is our new berry picker. Look at that, you guys. That's going to work out pretty well. And hopefully she'll be able to look around for any uh, bunnies that she can go ahead and chase after. So let's check out the two new babies really quickly. We Oh, yes, it's another girl. Sweet. All right. And she's got pretty good moves. Rasika. And then have we unlocked anything in particular? Oh, yellow fur. We have unlocked yellow fur. Oh, Where's the yellow fur? Are you, do you have yellow fur? I guess this would, we kind of have had, okay, red fur, gray fur. They have, oh, she's got yellow fur and beige, or gray, gray fur and yellow fur. 
We had yellow fur for a while, but I guess now we can control that genetic trait. Oh, I love the way that, yeah, I know a lot of people have said they love how Rasira here has her paw over her baby all of the time. So we have another female named Mimi, and unfortunately she does have some genetic issues, so she could potentially get sick. We'll have to watch after her. And then we have another female named Ciciri. Oh, I'm gonna probably like her because her name is very close to my name then. Red mane, beige mane, blue eyes, and she carries the panda pattern as her secondary. So we did mutate something new. So now we should try mutating the, okay, so I wonder if you mi mix different things. So what about, so berry paw. So if you mix the different things, do you just unlock any new genes or does it depend on the two things you're trying to mix? Now that would be very interesting if that was true. Mutate dots and a secret unlock condition. Mutate yellow fur. So I think we're gonna mutate into gray fur next. So yeah, we'll just kind of gently work on opening up all of those different mutation selections. And then let's see, we're gonna send this little baby. Wow, he can go far. And what are his genetics? F and G. So F and G. G and G, D and F, hmm, Miko, and then F and G, ah, you're very related to all of your, your sisters, you know that little guy? All right, and then I might send him to go gather some berries really quick, because this is, maybe you could go ahead and clear these out of the way and maybe scooch up, and then she can come, uh, do I want to make her move? Oh, maybe I do, maybe I do, chase a, chase a little food over here, let me see, she's got some good attack. Can we, ah, oh, there's a bunny right over there. Ah, uh, oh yes! All right, good, so she managed to chase down that bunny, awesome. All right, and then this mama I think has to stay here and take care of her baby for just a minute. And I really do want to send this guy deep into exploring down here, because the forest usually, aha, uh -huh. no, dang it! I didn't realize that he used up so much. Oh, can you come over here? Sorry, sweetie. I should have thought that through. I need to get used to when the food runs out. It's still very difficult for me to wrap my head around for some reason. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and collect this up. And then do you have any bunnies over here, my friend? You should be able to keep your eyes peeled and he might discover, oh, bunnies! Yes! All right, so yeah, he's gonna have some good luck over here. She's having some good luck over here. And then I think he can actually come over here. Yes! All right, got that bunny. Oh my gosh, oh, and look at the poison fang! Miko, you are so awesome. I really love her abilities. And now actually we have the opposite problem of now we have too many females. Also, he looks so awesome. Oh man, I love Panda Pattern. I really think Panda Pattern is one of my favorites. All right, so let's go ahead and have you. Can you go ahead, maybe explore? I was hoping the bunny would like move close, but I guess that would be asking too much. And I do think I wanna actually have her do a little exploring. So, hmm. We might have Miko go and do the exploring up towards the swamp and just dive into the swamp because she has really great movement. So I think that that would be very useful. So we'll have her go ahead and explore in the swamp. You are a very good collector. So I might send you down to a berry bush somewhere. There are, oh, over here. I might send this little one to the berry bush that's over here because it's next to a nest, just in case Mimi does run into a male that we decide to keep as a potential mate. But I don't know if we'll breed Mimi because she also has bad immunity. We'll have to keep an eye on it. We definitely need to do some more breeding though. Uh, if we are going to have any luck of unlocking more of those traits. Ah, oh, and I'm gonna lose Narokir. Ugh, that's gonna be so frustrating to lose him. All right, so we'll keep an eye on this. Ah, uh, should I do some more exploring? We're low on food until I can gather up all of the, the meat that we just collected. Jeez, she's beautiful, look at her, oh my gosh. She's so lovely just standing here with her mom. All right, let me go ahead and collect up that. And then, yes, he's got some food, collect up this. And then, gotta make sure the bunnies aren't getting too close. Oh my goodness, hey, what's over here? All right, so she's gonna be fun to explore with. She's got fantastic movement. So I'm starting to get into the flow of things. It took a little while, but I'm figuring it out. All right, and maybe, can I catch a bunny? Dang it, I was really hoping I would be able to catch a rabbit if I kind of wiggled that way. What about over here? Aha, uh -huh, gotcha. Oh no, I didn't notice that we were running low on food again. I'm so sorry, you guys. I have a very hard time paying attention to that for some reason. So for their sake, I definitely am going to try harder. All right, I'm gonna move you up here because we need more babies. Clear that up. 
And then this little one gets to scooch a little bit closer. She'll kind of live by this nest. Mimi can live there, just in case we run into anything. Am I gonna have any bunnies? All right, and you, sir, do a little exploring. Okay, so we're kind of working our way through. I definitely will have to start spreading the pack out a little bit more since we've focused so heavily on berry collecting. Okay, let's gather that up. Oh, can you get him? Come on, get him. Yeah, all right, there's some more meat there. And then, is there anything? I really want you to be able to just dive in here since something is rustling in, the, in there. All right, we'll have you gather up some food. And then he, uh, ah, Van Duke knew he's getting so old. <laughs> we can have him maybe do a little exploring and we're gonna have her start working her way towards the nest. Oh, there we go, okay. And then you, my dear, and you, my dear, you guys are used up. Um, and I don't think Maliko is going to be able to make it all the way over to him and then back to the nest. So I'm getting a little nervous because we still don't have enough males then. We still are really, really, really low on the males that we need in order to make sure we aren't interbreeding too much. Ah, dang it. Oh, well, that's technically a good thing, but I need food. Does anyone have a berry? <laughs> Oh, Nero Care! Oh, he's gonna die the next move, even though he's strong enough because he doesn't have enough uh Nero Care. Oh, my favorite! Oh, that's so hard. That's so hard to lose one that I really, really loved like that. And can you gather up? Yes, she can gather up from here. And he can gather up from over here. And now she can eat this bunny. Sweet. Good. And we'll pop this pregnant mama right over into this nest. And then you can sit over there, my little one. And you, sir, can come over, or ma'am, excuse me, Maliko can come over and keep an eye on what's going on over there. And gather up, gather up. Yeah, I need I need to start spreading out my, my creatures and digging, huh? Well, let's see if we're going to unlock a new gene. So I don't know if the digger gene is really a thing. Somebody ate a bunny. Who ate the bunny? Who's listening to something Russell? Is it you? Jeez, he's got great moves. So yeah, movement for my explorers is definitely a must. So we'll gather up those berries. Send her over here, gather up these berries. Get that rabbit, gather up this berry. Gather up this berry. Make sure the rabbits don't go any near. Get away from my berries, rabbits. And a lot of you guys have been reminding me that the, the rabbits will actually eat your berries, which is bad news bears. Or bad news berries, as you might say. <laughs> I know that was terrible, I'm sorry. All right, so I think we've got everything we can for now. And then let's check out the new baby. Rossi, a female. Oh, she's got some great gathering too. I might send her over here to gather up in the swamp since there's some food up there that she could harvest. Uh, she's got some pretty good attack too, so we're actually raising our attack and raising our collecting quite a bit. Did we have any luck with mutating? So mutate the yellow fur. Not yet. I'm kind of tempted to swap out for claw at this rate because I'm really worried there's not enough food. Um, there's never enough food and some of you guys have said that you have figured out like the magic to making it so you always have like hundreds of food and one day I think we'll get there, but it's really fun to kind of ride out. No, he died of old age. It's really fun for me to kind of ride out exploring the game and figuring out, oh, there's bunnies everywhere. Food, eat my dear, eat Maliko. You're, you're about to pass away, unfortunately. Oh, 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 there's some berries. There's some bun buns. They're just waiting to be eaten over there too. We can gather this up. Okay, so at least there's a bunch of food because it rained today, which is really, really lucky. All right, and then she, Ciceri here, what am I going to do with you? We're really l running low on males, and I haven't run into a male in a long time. Oh, dear. We're having the opposite problem that we had last time. Are you my only male, Van Keer? <laughs> Van Keer's my only male now! <laughs> I'm gonna have to desperately send him back up because if we lose him, even baby Rossi, yeah, yeah, Van Keer is my only male now, so I'm gonna have to send him, gonna have to send him back. I am really worried. If we lose him, we lose everything. So I'm going to send Van Keer back. I might send out some more explorers. This is getting pretty tricky. Why are you so glowy, my dear? Is that just the swamp or, oh, it's because I have you selected. That's really cool. 
All right, so yeah, we'll send Van Keer back up because he might have to perch with some of, unfortunately, his sisters. And I will continue looking for new guys. And remembering in the future, it's not really like running one pack per se. You kind of want to have like two or three family groups within the pack. So we'll definitely try harder to keep them separated next time. But yeah, we'll continue to see if the digger thing is actually a trait. I might actually look that up just to see and make sure we're not going down some sort of silly, uh, silly rap or what do you call it? Wild goose chase. There we go. Wild gopher chase, I think think in this particular case and then we'll start unlocking some more of these genes because this is this is pretty interesting to see if we can unlock them and then control them and I wonder if mixing and matching them will actually mutate them in ways that aren't listed on the mutation chart so that'll be really fun to see but all right you guys I will see you next time and I'm really worried because now we need to cross our fingers and hope for a boy because <laughs> we are out of boys and unfortunately I'm just gonna have to take the ones who are like the least likely to have sick babies and we'll just have to roll with it. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.